What's up, guys? It's your boy, Silver. Back at you again with another Pokemon Trading Card Game video. This is the fourth episode of the Fully Resist decks. Now, you're probably wondering, what other deck could I make that fully resists Pokemon? Well, you gotta... Good question. All of them. I resist Lightning. I resist Fighting. I resist Psychic. But, I mean, I mean he kind of does a battle, but... So... But I pretty much resist anything that I ask for. So we're going to try to see if we can utilize por uh, the strategy behind Porygon to resist something until I can get other cards, I guess. I also have a Diglett Dub Trio, of course, the lineup, Gengar Ghastly Haunter, and Gengar. And I know this is going to be kind of strict on energy cards and stuff like that. So I have Energy Search plus four bills of Professor Oak. Got Pokemon Trader, Gusta Wind. So not a lot of Trader cards in this deck, but we're going to try to see if I can score a win with this. So if you guys like content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more notifications. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And we have a an okay lineup, I guess. Not going to see the best, but let's see what we got going here. So I got a Ghastly. And that's it. I got a ghastly. Execute. Hypnosis for the first turn. I'll go to sleep here. And I stay sleep here. Because, you know, this game needs me. Got a, a psychic energy. Put on ghastly. And I end my turn here. I'll stay asleep. Hopefully, he doesn't have an executor. Nope. His deck is just fully meant to put me to sleep. But you know what? I'm going to play him in his own game. So Psychic Energy to my Ghastly. Ball with the Haunter. And now we start using Nightmare. Put him to sleep here. Flip a coin. Oh, well he went right back up. Right back up. There's Hypnosis. Yes, so I do not go to sleep using my transparency. Alright, I got Professor Oak. Uh, nah, I think I'm gonna wait to use it. Because I'm, I'm kind of in a good spot. I know I'm not doing a lot of damage right now, but I kind of want to wait to evolve my Ghastly into Haunter. Or if I get a Diggler or Duck Trio. So, because that's a lot of energies that I've been wasting. So I'll go to sleep here. The coin. I wake back up, because you can't keep me down forever. Oh, actually, Sparrow's good. Sparrow's good. Nightmare here. Execute will go to sleep. Execute will stay asleep. And now it's my turn. I mean, his turn. Can't really do anything, which is great. Alright. So... I'll keep using Nightmare. I guess I could just keep using Nightmare until he's knocked out. Flip a coin. Stay steep. That's great. Uh, now the tough thing about this is the thumbnail that I would be using for this video because I've already used Gengar plenty of times before. I've used Duck Trio plenty of times before, but they they are what represents the resistance. Uh, structure of this deck. So, the execute is knocked out, and I'll get an energy search, but I probably won't need it. Oh, he has a haunter on his own. Ooh. Darn it. Okay, I guess that's fine. Fero! So that's just the Fero. Uh, switch. Fero. Drill pack here. And I'll knock this Paris out. Clean out. That's a Haunter. Nightmare. Alright, flip a coin to see if I wake up. I do not. So that's a fail on my end. Try it again. I do not wake up. Now hopefully he doesn't have a Gengar anytime soon. Nightmare. 
this Arthur would be hard to stop. Alright. Arthur is one of the main Pokemon that I was scared of for this deck. But I'm gonna go ahead and use Gust of Wind. We're going to this Ghastly. To stop the other Haunter from the Arthur. So this Ghastly is knocked out. And can I get another Gust of Wind? For the, for the win? I'll go to sleep. Of course. Because this game always like when I go to sleep. Oh, 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 I woke up. That's another Haunter. So we use Pokemon Trader. Go into Gengar here. Evolve it. Psychic Energy to this Gengar. I still don't have to use Professor Oak yet. Go ahead and use Gengar. Dark Mind. Execute. Darn it! <sighs> I kinda need you to not do that, sir. So my Gengar will go to sleep. Heads! Nope. That's crazy! So that's just the Diglett. Then I'll use Professor Oak. Oh yeah, Duck Trio here. Diglett on the bench. Use Bill. Uh, get the last Ghastly out there. Okay. My Gengar wakes up. This Haunter will not keep me down. Or will it? Wait, did I just sack four Psychic Energies to my Gengar? I just noticed I just did that. <laughs> I just noticed. Okay, uh, Dark Mind. Get this execute. Yes. I'll knock this thing out one way or another. Oh, okay, you just gonna switch. Put me to sleep. Your whole strategy is putting me to sleep. Your entire strategy is putting me to sleep. By like some, some way or shape. I can't put words on out there. Go ahead and knock it out with the earthquake. Take it! Okay, all my bench Pokemon will take 10 damage. Per usual! The prize card, it's a Sparrow. Excellent. Okay. Joseph is next. He has the flying Pokemon deck, and I have three Sparrow and one Fero. Uh, I'm gonna keep the third Sparrow in my hand though. Flying Pikachu? No, he has a Sparrow too. Excellent. Psychic so Energy to Sparrow. I'll use Peck here. Pidgey. Fero. Colorless energy to Fero. Agility. Oh. I did not need Fero coming out this early. Ooh. Uh get this Fero out too. I need to get this Fero ready. So I might use it as stuff on her. Oh yeah. Need to get this joint ready. I need some way of comeback, right? So Flying Pokemon are really tough to beat when they all resist fighting. It's crazy. Nope. Joe pick me? Come on, do it. You know you want to. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, man, no kidding, man. Like, that's a lot of damage, bro. Drill pack here. Fero will get knocked out. You will not take another prize card from me, sir. That's a Diglett on the field. Uh, Diglett is kind of a dangerous thing to put out at a time like this, but... Go ahead, drill pack here. 
Too bad it's knocked out. Spiro. What a peck. Alright. I, uh, I can revenge kill this with uh, my own Spiro. So I'm gonna use. Oh, I'm gonna try to use agility. Nope. Mm, 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 mm. I kinda wish I could take that back. Oh, man. Uh, I think it would have been better to use drill pack. Uh, alright. Dub trio here. Use pack. Ooh, that's a flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Oh, well, there's my double color this energy. Where was that last time? I just need, not need to go back to come on the field. Back here. Oh, that's a pigeon. Alright. Need a, a ghastly or something. Nope. That's not a ghastly. That's a pigeon. Uh oh. Okay. Jiggles on the field now. See, it's all going to come down to how many fighting energies I can get into my hand. Or if I can get another Spiro and Fira. Which I probably can't. All my Spiro is in the... Is in the... No, it's not. Wait, all my Spiro? Oh. Yeah, all my Spiro is in the discard pile now. I was going to keep slashing away. Okay. I did it here. If he uses Whirlwind again. Hopefully I can get another Psychic Pokemon. Nope. Well, I mean, that kind of helps. Oh my goodness, it's Professor Oak. Oh my goodness, I just shuffled a Professor Oak. <laughs> Ooh. Fighting energy. Where was this last time? Uh, I wish I had a plus power. Oh! If I use Earthquake, I lose anyway. Sayonara! <laughs> I guess. Oh my goodness. Did I really just lose on the second duel? Well, that's what you get when you make decks that maintain too many electric I mean that you have to have that's what you get when you make a deck that relies on too many different types of energy cards and it, it becomes hard to maintain and drawing the right Pokemon for the wrong job nah. so thank you guys for watching if you guys like content like this again make sure to like comment and subscribe and I catch you guys in the next video so you guys take care have a good uh, well, today's Thursday, so, no, today's Wednesday, no, today's Thursday, yeah, today's Thursday, so have a good week, uh, uh, Friday, I'll see you guys then, peace.